Hi everyone, my name is Suzanne and I'm a Chinese metaphysics master in Hong Kong. Today I would like to talk a little bit about the concept of noblemen in Barca astrology. Now, I've spoken about nobleman identification in an earlier video that I took um, a few months, months ago. And it, there I talked about how to identify so-called noblemen in your chart. What that means is um, noblemen are people that help you in life. Yeah, as the name implies, they assist you, they help you, they have a noble attitude and they are willing to help you out in a crisis or when you have a problem. Yeah, that could be a close friend, it could be a co-worker, it could be a subordinate, an employee, a business partner, anything at all. It could even be your spouse or your children. So how to identify these noblemen in a chart, that's something I've already talked about. But very often people are a little bit unclear about how to then go about and connect with these noblemen or these, these helpful people. Now, having noble people or nobleman star in your chart doesn't mean that you just go out and randomly just ask everyone for help. Yeah, um, you don't want to come across as a freeloader. That's always a little bit of a risk. So if you have the nobleman star in the chart, then rather than going out and asking everyone for help, try a different approach. Offer your help first. If you want to connect with someone who could ultimately down the line be of help to you, don't focus on your own problems first. Approach them and listen to their story. Listen to what they have to say. Uh, listen to how they have overcome struggles. Maybe you could learn something just by listening to their story. And then ask them, is there anything that I can help you with? How could I bring value to your life, to your business, uh, to whatever it is you're doing? Yeah, and that way you are offering first. You come from a place of abundance. And once that is established, if you at any point need help from these kind of people, you have a much, much higher chance that they are actually willing to help you because you've offered something before, you've given something of you before to them, and you are a valuable person in their lives. So rather than just going about and just uh, asking everyone to help you out, which is can be a little bit annoying, yeah, offer your help first. So if you, um, if you identify that maybe um, your boss or your superior could be one of your noblemen, then make yourself valuable to your boss first. Make sure that you bring something to the table. You don't necessarily have to walk up and, and say, listen, um, what can I do to help you? Although that may work as well, but since you're working in the same company, just put in extra effort. Yeah, make sure that, um, you're doing the work, you are extra committed, and that you are actually helping with the business success of the company. If your noble people are found um, maybe um, in, your, uh, in the circle of your, your friendship, wider social circle, your wider social network, then again, become the person that everybody turns to for help. That way, once you need help, you've got a bigger, bigger... Uh, a much, much bigger network of people to fall back on. Yeah, so this is how the concept of noble people works. It doesn't mean that you just go out and ask for everything, offer your help first, and then everything will be given to you effortlessly once you need it. Yeah, all right. So if you want any more information about this, if you actually want to find out where your nobleman is in the chart where you can find them in your life then contact me my contact details are in the notes below